the evolution of smart home technology. You may not realize it, but home automation has been around for more than a century. Of course, automation has meant different things to humans in different periods, but there have certainly been breakthrough inventions that have led us to what we know now as smart home technology. Keep watching this video if you are intrigued with the history of technology and its development like us. Early to mid 1900s. Although today we would not consider our most commonplace home appliances smart technology, they certainly were inventive in the beginning of the 20th century. The early 1900s witnessed the industrial revolution, which paved the way for the introduction of the first home appliances. In 1901, the first vacuum cleaner was introduced, followed by the other game-changing technologies like the refrigerator, electric dishwasher, toasters, irons, etc. While not computerized, these early advances in innovative home technology were important stepping stones towards the discovery and eventual commercialization of modern-day automation. For example, an innovation like a washing machine could remove the need for the long process of cleaning clothes by hand. So in that sense, such appliances were indeed smart in helping automate and simplify specific tasks. The 1960s. During the 1930s, inventors turned their attention to home automation technologies, but the idea didn't materialize until 1966, when the Echo 4, the first smart automation system, was developed. This device allowed consumers to create computing shopping lists, control the temperature of the home, and turn appliances on and off. Created in 1969, the kitchen computer could create recipes, but the device never became a commercial success due to its price. The Echo 4 was the first proper home automation device ever created, also known as the Electronic Computing Home Operator. While never commercially sold, this product could control temperature and turn appliances on and off. It could also relay messages and allow for inputting and retrieval of grocery lists, recipes and other family memos. In 1965, the first touchscreen was developed in England. The inventor's first article described the technology as a novel input-output device for computers, therefore enabling computers to detect a change in the electric charge based solely on the touch of a finger. Imagine a smart home without touch capabilities, not to mention smartphones powering all your devices. Then, in the late 1960s, the Honeywell Kitchen Computer was introduced to the world. This product, which could store recipes and help streamline bookkeeping tasks, was based on one of Honeywell's Series 16 mini computers. However, nobody ever bought the kitchen computer. Why? Well, with a weight of more than £100 and an exorbitant price tag of more than $10,000, can you blame them? Moreover, an average person would have taken a two-week programming course to understand how to use the technology. From the 1970s to the 1990s, by the year 1971, the microcontroller had been developed, which resulted in price reductions for electronics devices. This paved the way for appliances to become commercial and accessible to a wide range of people. In 1975, an industry standard called the X10 was announced, enabling home devices to communicate through power lines. The X10 is very similar to the technology behind home plugs, which give Ethernet internet capability over power. A significant invention, this standard helped usher in products including Radio Shack's plug and power devices and Sears home control system. Both enable early adopters to use a command console and modules to control devices in their homes remotely. By the 1980s, programming tasks were a more widely available feature and became hugely popular. The digital thermostat to set heating was commonplace as were the programmable washer dryer and dishwasher. The booming popularity of the microwave slashed typical cooking times from 30 minutes to five, prompting convenience dinners. Moreover, VHS and Betamax video recorders that could be preset meant people no longer had to miss their favorite TV shows and could now watch them anytime. If this wasn't enough, technology to help safeguard elderly people living alone was also becoming well used. So. Throughout the 1980s, home automation became even more commonplace. More and more people began purchasing devices like automatic garage door openers, home security systems, motion sensor lights and more. 
While much of the technology still relied on cables and many single devices could not communicate, it was still an exciting decade that saw more modern innovations with many people's homes. As a result of all this success, the American Association of House Builders coined the term Smart House in 1984 and, during the next decade, movies attempted to depict it. By this time, home computing had begun to reach the masses, with the BBC computer and the IBM PC both launching in 1981, the early Apple Macintosh in 1984 and the Microsoft Windows operating system a year later. Fast change ensued and technology miniaturized. Then, in the early 1990s, the world learned of a concept named Guren Technology. This concept grew into a major research and development sector related to using technology to make seniors' lives easier while living at home. As one of the earliest mainstream home uses of smart technology, seniors could buy remote products that would notify a central contact point with a simple click of a button if they fell at home. Finally, Wi-Fi, more specifically, the 80211 wireless standards was invented in 1997. This represented a significant turning point for smart homes, removing the need for running cables throughout the buildings. The early 2000s to today. The early 2000s were marked by the rapid increase in the popularity of smart home technology, as the small mobile phones, later named smartphones, became commonplace, and portable MP3 players, such as iPods, sold in large numbers. We began seeing a plethora of smart tech products hitting the shelves, with mainstream gadgets focused on home automation and connectivity. Different technologies emerged and were slowly integrated in the homes. Smart homes started to become increasingly affordable options and therefore viable technologies for many consumers. Home networking, domestic technologies and various other consumer gadgets became available. Smart home automation is ubiquitous in the current market. Over time, the convenience of controlling everything from an app created considerable demand. This led to the launch of online stores like Google Play, where you could easily download apps to manage your smart devices. Aside from apps, consumers are now able to control the heating, TVs, lights, doors and alarms via remote controllers as well. Although different technologies from smart thermostats to speakers and sensors have appeared on the market, many have been rapidly integrated into our homes. Today, smart homes seem to be about three main things convenience, safety, and living more sustainably. For example, having the ability to do things like schedule appliances, control security systems remotely, and automate heating. These things help us conserve physical and environmental energy, save money, and ultimately feel more comfortable in our surroundings. What's next for smart home technology? The proverbial sky is the limit for the future of home automation. Many experts believe that as artificial intelligence and machine learning become more advanced, the most innovative homes will be able to learn about and even anticipate their occupants' needs, including being able to respond without being asked or directed. Meanwhile, smart homes will gather, analyze, and act upon valuable data. They'll provide critical insights regarding our device usage and our overall health and well-being. While it's hard to pinpoint exactly what they will look like in the coming decades, it's safe to say that smart homes will no longer be just about owning cool devices and gadgets. Instead, our homes will be creating life-changing conveniences and valuable knowledge to help amplify and improve our lives more than ever before. Conclusion If you found this video informative, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the amazing tech-related content we have in store for you.